So this is this is one thing I used to do on many of my sessions was to replace other drummers. Yeah. I didn't like doing that because, you know, I knew many of the guys who were on there. Right. And he, yeah, he said, yeah. well, he couldn't cut it, so you come in and just cut it. So um, that that was what I was doing session wise as right. well. So so you would you would play along to what was recorded already, the music? Or or with, just with the click? Uh, no, uh, some of the time it was with the click the band. if they've got sequences on other parts done. But with Simple Minds it was us just playing. Just play all together yeah, in yeah, the same all, room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's cool. You know, yeah. organically in the same room. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, and it, and it worked out really well. Amazing. Yeah. So that's, I guess, all the sessions were done this way. Back in the yeah, past, but, well, in yeah, but a lot of the, a lot of the sessions. For instance, the heat wave sessions, which I remember incredibly well, uh, was with a guy called Rod Temperton, who's, as you know, was the writer for Michael Jackson, right, and Jules right. Benson, and everybody else, and he was the keyboard player in Heat Wave. Okay. He d devised this way of playing by overdubbing. So you, you'd lay down your bass drum as a click track. So you'd play, you know, okay. as a, and that'd be your click track. Right. Then you'd play the bass drum on, on top of that click track. Then you'd play the snare drum on another track. Not all together. Oh, wow. Right. You know, in, yes, in separate yes, parts. Yeah. Tom Toms, cymbals. I mean, it took two days. Yeah, can you imagine to do that? You know, because it was like, you know, no, we we don't. That, you know, we, could you could you, you know, um, go ahead of the beat or go behind the beat? And I was like, Jesus, <laughs> this is a nightmare. Anyway, um, so that was a real challenge. But yeah, it, it sounded good, but it didn't sound that fluid as a, mm. as, a, as a as a piece. You yeah. Know? But a lot of right. the you know a lot of the sessions I was doing was like that. Okay. You know, it was, uh, you know, I'd, I'd done some stuff from, for Donna Summer as well, which I wow. didn't know it was Donna Summer wow, at the time. Right. And it was the same thing, you know, it was all, all individual, Incredible. individual drums. So you would come in into a session, you wouldn't know mm. what artist would have been. Like, you just know the producer and then yeah, that's you right. wouldn't even know. You didn't even know who the artist was going to be for. Right, right, so right. The, a, lot of the, a lot of the things I was like, Jesus. Even now, it's like, that's me playing. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't even know. Yeah, yeah. Know? It's like, it's like kind of weird. 